recorded the day before yesterday. Mm, mm. The love is overwhelming, you see? So when I put out my fans, then that's when now um, we, got a, we got a deal. Nonini, Joakali and myself, you see, we got a deal for White Rose, the dry cleaners. Mm -hmm. So we did Ville Tafanya. We did Ville Tafanya, the three of us. We did Ville Tafanya. What do you mean when you say you got a deal? We got, we got, a, we endorsed um, White Rose, mm -hmm. White Rose dry cleaning. So if you remember in that song, there was a place where Nonini says, White Rose, White Maua, White Rose, White Maua, Ville Tafanya. You see? <laughs> so it was product placement. Mm -hmm. But me, I told them, I'm like, hey, me, Stataja White Rose Kwango Mazango. Because I was the guy with the durags, I was the gangster nene. But you see, Kina Nonini were looking at it from the business aspect. The financial, yeah. yeah. So I told him, how about you guys? Because it'll sound monotonous if Joakali says white rose, I say white rose, you say white rose. So let's work it out in an artistic kind of way. Then now, when we we're writing our verses, Nani Nonini said, now this is where I'm going to put that white rose, white mm. mawa, you see? Alikuwa nasema something towards the line Unajua hizo shuka zetu zikichafuka Tazipeleka white rose, white maua You understand? So we've done this project, we've been paid for it each all three of us you know they did some shows as well to promote the white rose then fast forward we're still with caliph now so juakali also was trying to put out his his songs now from mm -hmm. caliph because caliph they pushed nonini then juakali was to come after, after. Nonini mm -hmm. and so on and so forth so we went to we went for Chago Latinese. This was now the next one after the chopper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Guys are looking in the sky now. <laughs> Guys are looking in the sky. You know, you, you already done, did that. Done that, bought the t-shirt. I washed it at White Rose and it <laughs> faded. You know what I'm saying? And you know, one thing in life is that you can never say the same joke twice. Mm. The first time it will be funny. The second time, if I pulled the same same stunt with the chopper, yeah, it took a lather. So anyway, my point is, we go for Chago Latinis. Nonini, of course, is blown up. I've blown up, you know. Then we had this song, I Ville Tafanya. So we told, we told um, the staff of Insider. We're like, hey, Mazee, you know, it's a bit to perform in Goma, because Nonini was on the, on the playlist. Mm. Me, Pierre, I was on the roster. But Joakali wasn't put on the roster. Mm. So Adam and Insider and the crew, you know, they said, Aska has only had a budget for you artists, you see, which is now Prezo and Nonini. Mm. So we asked the guys, we're like, what about Joakali though? Because Joakali also, he's, he's, he's doing things. He's doing things and he's stepping on the same stage as us. So there's no way you can pay us and not pay the guy, you know. So to Kavutana Kando Mina Nonini to Kambia Noni Kambia Nonini won't on Aj's story. Because the only other way out here <coughs> excuse me, the only way the only other way out here is whatever you're receiving. You split. <coughs> whatever you're receiving. Can I get you some water? No, 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 I'm good. Okay. Whatever you're receiving, let me are you chipping Kiasiflani na mini chip in Kiasiflani, we give it to Juakali. Mm. Nonini said, Zi, 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 I fight Joe. Now, Joe, because at the end of the day, if we carry on like this, then it's going to be a habit. You know, why should we dip into our own pockets? And yet, Juakali Maze, he's also a household name. Kwayo, it's either they pay Juakali, or we just don't perform. Na pesa out to see Chukwe. That showed some other crazy kind of unity, you Yo. know. 
And we said, you know what? Paul and Mazze, ask us, we got love for you, but we're not performing. Yo, okay, mm. hold on. I thought this story was uh, for a sec going to go the other way. <coughs> so, these guys only have money for Prezo and Nonini. And Nonini, yeah. And they want the three of you on stage to go throw down on this song. Yeah. So you guys have one option. I yeah. mean, two options. Two one, options. Yeah. split your chums and give Joakali. Yeah. Or two, yeah. which is the harder of the two, mm. say, Boy, forget God. even mine. Yeah. My chums, even mine, I'm not even playing. Yeah, at least two. Unless you pay this guy what you're paying us. Yeah. So yeah. Unless you pay this guy. Yeah. Had to change some buttons there. Yani, this story in a bamba. We're, we're, <laughs> yeah. we're, at, we're at like Prezo's fourth song. And <laughs> and we are like three hours in. But I love it. So anyway. Yeah. Prezo, where we left off. There's some, continue with this story. Because you said something crazy. Inside I've called three of you guys to perform. We were actually on carnival grounds there. But they don't have they don't have money for Joakali. They yeah. only have money for me and, and Nonini. Nonini, yeah. Nonini. You've told Nonini that hey, let's chip in for Joakali. Nonini is like Bella. Yeah. We have two options. Yeah, we have two options. We either uh, this chipping in story ain't working. Yeah. How long so are they we either pay the, exactly because I mean respect. Mm. So we either they either pay this homie. Yeah. Or even us. Yeah. Let's forfeit what they were going to pay us. Yeah. Bro, you know. The reason why I've, I'm sort of dwelling on this statement that you've said is yes. because this is what keeps the industry alive. The this truth. is what pushes it. Unity. Yes. It's the truth. There was mad unity there. And you know, at the same time, you see, you said that we had two options. And you mentioned the first one, which was to chip in ile nyemini konayo na inyuanalipa nonini. And then verbatim, your exact words, you said the second option, which was even the harder one, was to say, you know what, atu pandi your stage. Kama jua kali apati ganji yake, then deuces, man, and we're out, you know. And there's actually a third option which other artists today would take, which is, hey, sorry, bro. Hey, is a guys, bro. Yeah, is a bro. Hey. Guys, we need this money. Hey. Because you... <sighs> and you know, like, at the, at the end of the day, that's how you see even um, the respect between myself, Nonini, jua kali, right? will never ever end because you see even Juakali at that time he saw kwamba kweli hawa ni wachizi wangu kweli hawa yani ni maswaibu wangu if they are ready to do away with this stash because of me you know he even said is like fanye ni hivi maze nyi rukeni stage to tukamwambia zi kama upati ganji yako jo bro wacha you know to hell with it okay so what happened now so now, Insider, you know, they had to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> <laughs> because the fans would have eaten them. You understand? <laughs> they, they had to go back to the drawing boards. So, you know, kitwe nye mtu anapata ni siri yako we mwenyewe kama wanaume. So, you know, the Insider team came and said, okay, guys, you know, let's talk. We're like, you and Juakali and the team, nyite kile zaini. Jua kisha kama kitu patia noda semi niko fresh. <laughs> We'll be like so. I can come and uh, fresh, but I to a wink and gun. To <laughs> 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 <It's okay. laughs> So you know, given the situation, Majil is a whereby you know they had to look for that stash for Juakali by hook or crook. Yo, I love that man. So by the time we're on stage saying Vile Tafanya. Look what Naisema kutoka kwa row because tuna jua kila mtu yuko na pake, you know. Yo. Yeah. And okay, and and I know guys will kill me if I don't ask this, but how was it recording? Were you all three together at the same time? Nini mm. really has shared his perspective how it was a Pilipili song. Mm. But I want to hear it from your perspective. Mm. Mm. It was a Pilipili song. So and you go to Calif. Yeah. And you're like, because now of course you've recorded my fans, so now yeah. you're you're being boys. You're mm. Calif had now become family. Yeah, family. Yeah. So I remember getting into the studio because now I was asking myself, I'm like, what beat are we going to go with, you know? And then at the same time, when you're in a collaboration, I would take him to Funike. You see, so for me, I'd, I would have preferred to have the beat. I work on it at home. So Nike come ni one shot, one kill. What's the deal? One shot, one kill, what's the deal? So when we got to Calif, I remember I remember hearing, you know, the setup in Calif was the living room was where people would do studies. 
where the studio would be and it also be the home. Mm -hmm. You see? It is, it is in Clemo's parents' house. In Clemo's parents' house, yeah. So when I got to the, to the door, I had um, that beat for Vile Tafanya. I said, Maze, Mbona Mungu anani favor guy, Iviani. You know why I'm saying that? Because this beat here, like I told you, I'm the kind of person who listens mm. to music from different angles. When Pili Pili removed that song, I loved the beat. Mm -hmm. I really, really loved the beat, you mm. know. Just the whole vibe to it. Dum, dum, dum. Mm. Da -da 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 -dum, dum, dum, dum. Da -da 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 -dum, dum, dum, dum. So I find Kina Nonini bumping to that song, to the beat. I'm like, Monas, just here, but here, Pili Pili, Joe. So I asked him, like, Cheki, Kuliza Siu Jinga. Yeah. Tunaruki a bit. <laughs> Waksame, Tunaruki a bit. Nikambia lakini sikuna mtu mwingine pia alikuwa ameshirukia. So I think there was some friction mm. between in-house. <laughs> Sasa mimi pilipili ambayo nisijakula inaniwashia mimi nini? <laughs> I wasn't want to find out that eh uh -huh, so what happened so uh, oh bit you can't evil. I said I love this bit and look at it it's here on the table now. <clears throat> Let's do this. Let's do it, you know. And mimi nilifika pale kama we all recorded our verses there. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. we recorded our verses there. Yeah, because you see, after my fans, that's when even now Nawapenda War became like a slogan. As, as I, uh, yeah, because uh -huh. my fans me Nawapenda War, mm -hmm. and in this other song, I started like Nawapenda War, Nawapenda War, War, Te Wakitaka Wote Watapewa Mate, you know. After <laughs> It's good for you. <laughs> Me, I mean it because it's true. Me, me, now we're with you. How did you be cool? Cloud number T, support a fika too. What? What port a fika too? Cloud number T, support a fika too. Feel it a fanya. 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 So we recorded the song there. I loved everybody's contribution into the song. And keep in mind, I loved that instrumental. Mm -hmm. I, used to, I used to hear that, that song, now the other version, and I feel like, Mbona <laughs> Klemo yeah. you know? But then we happened to jump on that track, you know? And then there's no better part as in, we're youngins, yep. we're being followed by corporates, I'm working with one of the best in the industry. That's Nonini Juakali Clemo. Mm -hmm. You know, so I just felt like you know it was a blessing, and I felt kwamba e destiny when goja to utona pali itakuja kutupeleka. So, song ilipuka. Mbaka tulikuwa buda tuliko tume tume toa chapa kufanga script ya kushuto video kila kitu likuwa down tunataka shoot video mpaka tumeka date uh, alafu song ile kimelipuka tuliachana naye <laughs> tuliana hii hii tunaye <laughs> yeah hii tunaye time tumesha <laughs> explode tumesha explode sasa <laughs> tutaribu mbele tulikatu chini tu ikakuwa serious mlikomo eh hey, kwa sababu alikuwa na dope hey. presa alikuwa na <laughs> tutaribu hii song so mliwacha tu mkasema forget it forget it Hii audio isha enda, wata yenda. Hii audio lienda. Mupa fumbaka wale yo song. <laughs> Kila mko na ijua. So, liona for what reason. And so that's how we did that song. And then now, after doing the, <coughs> the Vile Tafanya, I think a few months later is when now we had that issue with the Insider. Because already there was uh -huh, that chemistry. Yes. Because now, of course, you drop it, you drop it in on radio, and it's, it's a, I mean, anything that Prezo is putting out on yeah. radio right now, yeah, it is hot. It's hot, bro. Now let me talk about one that people maybe don't know that much. Mm. So me have come back mm. again, 
my boy who was Jack So mm. is this superstar called Prezo. Mm. I'm not surprised, mm. but I'm like this guy is Jackson yeah. Jay with the I mean he's a big mm. and now I'm religiously listening to radio with a tip yeah. to press record yeah, to record <laughs> to record the thing and I, at that time I'm hearing you working on an album mm. then for me the song which I wish you was was blew up excess yeah was this song yeah you and Talia yeah because it has the Mimi. fast rap in Mimi in a way with yeah, your yeah. Hardy being yeah. good yeah. cloud number two support mm. to figure too because mm. Talia had done the Ham niti shiti shi. Yeah. Kali had done her own songs previously, which yeah. were in fact Kali is an OG. Yeah, it's true. Tell us about this song. I know it was a. Well, I'm not sure if it was the next song that you released, but yeah. I know it was a silent. Yeah. Now you see what was happening at this point in time was everywhere I'd go, you know, I'd have my book of rhymes. <laughs> We'd travel to Arusha. You know, actually, let me use Arusha uh-huh. as a good example. Are you blowing up by the way out of Kenya right now? Of course, bro. Okay, I think in fact that's where we should start. How has TZ received Let's Get Down? How has TZ received Kenya is the number one at this time? Was Zemo because you see we had Channel 5 East Africa TV, yeah, TV. Mm-hmm. which was just playing nothing but local content. Mm-hmm. You see? And then when you have a, a video such as Let's Get Down, Ooh. you know, they had no choice but to support. You see because ni just when you anaona kwamba hao watu they didn't just wake up and decide to do a video. Mm-hmm. So Nazizi <coughs> being also partly Tanzanian. Mm-hmm. She had that influence. You know, cuz yeah. Nazizi Nazizi ruled the airwaves as the female MC for the longest time. Yep. Hakuna mtu mwenye alikuwa anampa competition. So the connections that she had in Tanzania and me being half Tanzanian mm-hmm. they accepted me and they embraced me mm-hmm. you see and keeping in mind that you know I did a song with um with AY called Nipeni Kupe Nip, yeah had you already dropped this by this time <coughs> no no not yet not, not yet, yet yes not yet so what I was doing was I used to write music you know I used to write music so my album na letter action I stumbled into the album mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because you know I was like okay I have let's get down I have my fans i have um vile tafanya vile tafanya no vile tafanya no, was yeah, in yeah, my yeah. album ma, ma, malaika mama ma, eh, malaika mama. mama i had so by the time i was counting the songs that i had recorded yeah i already had an album without even knowing mm. so i said apa kitu yenye tafanya nitaeka interlude mbili tatu <laughs> you know and my album is complete you know what i mean without me knowing kwamba because when you look at it like I'm working on this album yeah it it seems like a long process it's like how when you had you know the president dished out was it 100 million or mm. 200 million for artists when you hear that you know you think kwamba eh eh how my artists wanna cool a gun i remember it trickles down to nothing i remember when my lady had that vibe i'm going to get back to this topic but when my lady had that vibe me maskini mazi nimeenda pale kuogotea ni nini so the lady was up and she's like oh baba karibu i'm like eh? i'm like uh, what's cutting here she i'm like she come she like mara baba ba. she's there removing strings that are not even there eh? i'm like eh okay um is it my birthday or what she's like apana wait let me get you chai i'm like how many kosawa juice i'm like ah niko poa soda Eh hey, kumbe the lady knew kwamba there's that 100, 100 million in <laughs> Yemengia. Tuli tulipata 35 bro. <laughs> I gave the lady 2k, I back it with 15. <laughs> When I gave the lady, I told the lady I'm like kuna kitu nimekutumia kwa sim. Eh hey, alirukia bro. <laughs> Kuangalia hivi. She like saw two zeros missing. She looked at me like you know what kind of animal are you you know? <laughs> Yaani umepatiwa hizo mamilioni alafu unanipatia mimi ngiri mbili you know but in reality it sounds big but when you start sharing with artists how many mm-hmm. artists are there mm-hmm. kwa hiyo it was a story like that one yani yeah yeah i lost okay, okay so, so so then tell us about this song because it was in the album yeah this yeah. song now this song you know like <clears throat> talia you know talia had a couple of songs that she had done you know and talia 
used to touch me with her songs like you know the same way I can remember these songs that we used to do mm. back in the day I can remember Talia's songs you know though I actually in a in a duo in a group of two mm. so I used to bump into her songs and I loved her voice mm -hmm. you know so um there's this song there's this song that used to play for Alia it's been too long and mm -hmm. I'm lost without you what am I gonna, gonna do mm -hmm. so I said you know this this song has a good vibe to it all I need is just Talia's vocals and we'll kill it you know so I called Talia I'm like hey there's a song that I have I think you know we can we can work on something so I started writing it down, you know. I used to write so many times, like whenever I would have my free time. Mm. And we went to Hamze's studio. Yes, next level at that time. Yeah, next level. And RK was the producer. Yo. You know, yeah. So RK, you know, I gave him my vision. I was like, I was thinking this song should go like this, this and that. This is the tempo. I don't want anything upbeat because I already have those upbeat kind mm. of feels. So. I want us to work on this and to be totally honest with you that's also one of my favorite jams yep. in a letter action in that album you know because when you carve the words and especially in Swahili you know Swahili is such a beautiful language you know so Talia does the me me na we we me me na we we too hard the jumbingu cloud number t support afika tools you see Nobody had done that kind of, mm. you know, rap. Yeah. You know what I mean. So I was just trying to cover any loopholes. So when somebody says, "Ah, I'm not a praise away, I'm be a naive apaje. I praise a naive apaje. I praise, you know, naive apaje." That, that was so that's that's, we, that was a big tune it, mm. it was it is mm. do you know i looked for that tune mm. so much let me tell you where i got it mm. let me show you how how badly i wanted this song mm. i bought it from uchumi really there was a time uchumi you could go with and buy a blank cd you select music yeah and you pay like 20 shillings a song yeah, at uchumi. yeah. yeah that's where i got that thing from yeah because yeah, yeah. it's like man prezo stop giving me songs for kenyan madness <laughs> <laughs> i'm still going pirates <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm gonna so, get it by a hook or crook you so, know so so tz is showing you love at this mad. time tz uganda mad love bro and are you touring in those places yes um if you check the records you know I'm the one who's done the most shows in in Tanzania. Yo. The most shows. Back to back, bro. I used to come this weekend, next weekend you gonna show in Tanzania. I come back the next weekend I have another show in Tanzania. So I had a couple of 
people who would come to me and tell me, hey, mazi bro, easy shows at Tanzania, mazi yo nazilamba gaje. Mm. I'm like, wait a minute, you won't tell me you've never done a show in Tanzania, they're like, sijafanya show, no. <laughs> I'm like, eh, hey, okay, you know, but again, I was passionate about what I wanted to do, what I was doing, and I had my vision and I had that ruthless focus. So kidogo kidogo ni kajipata ni kwapi ni kwa Uganda. Mind you, I've never done a song with a Ugandan artist. And at this time, had you done any that is it? Not yet. At this time, I think we're done nipe ni kupe now. And in my album, I also did Leo ni Leo with TID. Oh, in fact, yes. Let's let's first go back to Leo ni Leo. Yeah.